Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has given directions to the police and the Defence Force to work together to ensure lawlessness does not take place. This in response to the Beetham protest on Thursday, which caused chaos getting into and out of Port of Spain. The Prime Minister said it's time to draw the line with that's with what's allowed, rather. More from Rishi Harinanan. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said the action taken by the residents of Beetham on Thursday was because two members of the community were arrested. He said the police had the right to go into the community and execute their duties. As such, the decision by residents to obstruct the officers will not be tolerated. Regardless of the circumstances that may prevail in communities, there is no excuse for the lawlessness that we saw yesterday. And what is worse, parents who have children, young people who grew up in communities, if what we saw yesterday is the way we will deal with our situation, then it means that we are advocating anarchy as a way of life in Trinidad and Tobago. He said the only authority to carry out law enforcement is the duly appointed officers of state who wear the necessary uniform and who, under the constitution, are authorized to carry out the law. And the government will not shy away from and will not shirk its responsibility to ensure that a handful of people, especially those who choose crime as a way of life, will dictate what goes on in this country. I want, to, I want to guarantee to this country the government's effort to ensure that those who need help from the state, insofar as that help is available and affordable, that help will be directed to them. Dr. Rowley said those who seek to break the law will be dealt with by the law enforcement officials. He said Thursday's situation in Beetham could have easily gotten nasty. Because if the officers, one, two, three, or how many of them, had reacted differently. These are people who are armed with dangerous weapons, with authority of state to use those weapons in defense of their person and in defense of other citizens. And this situation could easily have escalated to one where law enforcement officers could have resorted to that situation and God alone knows what might have happened there. As such instructions have been given to law enforcement officials. I am hereby instructing the Commissioner of Police publicly to use all and any resource available to him, authorized under the law of Trinidad and Tobago, to seek out all such persons who have evicted persons from their homes unlawfully and ensure that lawful occupancy prevails on all circumstances. Additionally, the Minister of National Security has been advised to instruct the Defence Force to provide all lawful support to all aspects of law enforcement to ensure no citizen stands in the way of the police when carrying out their duty. Rishi Harinanan, Seniors. Those people who were involved in Thursday's protest in Beetham Gardens are being investigated. This from Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams. He says a lot of the altercation was captured on video. Uh, we are at this point in time analyzing those footage with the clear intention of prosecuting persons who we identify as committing offenses on yesterday's date. So I have directed uh, a team to focus on prosecuting individuals coming out of yesterday's event. Mr. Williams adds he is happy to work with the Defence Force and Joint Patrols as they have been doing this for some time now. The Trinidad Police Service and the Trinidad Defence Force um, have been working in partnership jointly on numerous operations, including operations within the realm of Port of Spain. Um, we have the commitment to continue to work together and we've been progressing in that um, team effort. Uh, we've so seen tremendous uh, gains in our operations um, working together. So the, the relationship has grown over time and has grown positively. Minister of National Security Edmund Dillon strongly condemns acts of lawless activities from any citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. He was asked by the Naparima MP in the Parliament to state the reasons for the failure of this country's intelligence services to anticipate and plan for the events which unfolded on the Beetham Highway. Propose a zero tolerance of any type of behavior that will affect the peace-loving persons, citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, and also 
empathize with those who went through those traumatic experiences yesterday. Madam Speaker, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service had an operation in the BTM yesterday. And early this morning, the Commissioner of Police identified there was a, a gap in terms of the operation. That gap has to do with the, not only just the response, but in terms of the timeliness of that response. They were, in fact, on the ground at the time of the incident, had to call for reinforcements, which they did, and dealt with the matter as quickly as possible to bring relief to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has responded to a newspaper article which quoted him as saying, don't ask me about Bitham, I am here to talk about Kuva in response to the protest in the area. I went to Bitham, I went to Kuva yesterday. I was in the middle of a conversation with three people when someone unknown to me, without identifying herself, stuck a microphone in my face in the middle of a sentence to ask me for an interview on a subject that I was not at that moment in a position to address or prepared to address and would not take a quiet gesture. And that's simply what happened. I simply said I'm in Coover dealing with the issue of Coover at this moment. I don't know what the problem is from there. 